Welcome everyone. The first step to use the assistive access mode. Let's start by opening up the settings. And from here, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. And from here, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you should see this one, assistive access. This is the old person mode. So let's set up assistive access and then we'll select the continue and then we're going to select continue again. You can change the appearance of the assistive access. I'm going to leave it as a grid. And then you can select which applications you would like to add. So you have the stock iPhone apps here and you have all of your apps. So we'll just add some apps and every time you add an app, it will ask you if you want to allow permissions or what features you want to include. I would recommend you add as many permissions, as many features as you need. So on the camera, I'm going to leave this one all on. And let's say the photos include shared albums. Let's turn that one on. And then we'll continue. And let's continue again. And you can see here using assistive access and let's just tap continue. Now you can see face ID is active, passcode is active. Let's continue. You will need a passcode to exit assistive access. And I would recommend you set this as the same one which you use currently to unlock your phone. If you forget this, you will have to do a full factory reset in order to get to the regular mode. So I would just recommend you use the same assistive access password. You can also use a recovery Apple ID. I would recommend you do this because again, if you lost your passcode, that will require a full factory reset. But with the recovery ID, you can use that Apple ID to get you out. I'm personally going to select not now. It's saying to exit assistive access. I'll show you how to do that later. And you can either select start now or enter later. If you select enter later, just tap the start button here, enter in the passcode, and then we can enter the assistive access. Once we're in, you can see the apps we allowed. And if you tap on the app, you can open it. And you have a very basic view, just tap the buttons. Okay, so like my face, take a photo, boom. You tap back. And you know, you can swipe up and down, but there's no gestures and nothing special. Tap the app to open. And you know, the apps, they are very basic. They are watered down. The third party apps will be the full version of the app. But these first party apps, you can see, Extremely basic, very limited features. If you need to change settings or leave assistive access, if you do not have a home button, triple click the side button. So click, click, click. And then we see this assistive access view. If you have a home button iPhone, triple click the home button to get the same view. And so we have the settings here and we will need to enter in our passcode for this. And you can change the options you see here. You have sliders and then you have buttons to tap on or off. And you can also shut down your iPhone with that button. You have the emergency. This is the SOS like 999, 911, 112. And then you have the option to exit here. And remember, you do need your passcode. Even if you initiate a false restart, which means you know, like you, you hard restart your iPhone, it will bring you into assistive access. This is not the same as guided access. And so you do need to remember that passcode. So I'd recommend if you, someone who may forget, you write it down or you just put it somewhere where it's very easy to remember. I personally stick stuff up on my wall and never change it. I had stuff on my wall from 2017. And you know, never moved it. And there you go, you can get back into the phone, no problem. One thing to note 
is if I quickly go back into the assistive access, there is no option to outright disable this feature. You do have settings in the assistive access area, but you can see start assistive access and it says assistive access is on, but a triple click won't turn this feature on. You have to tap the start and um, you know as long as you're not in the assistive access, then it's not going to bring you back in unless you tap the start. But there is no option to completely turn this one off. Once you turn it on once, it is going to stay on in these settings. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.